I've got some problems with my shower control unit. The valve for turning the shower on and off seems to be very loose and the temperature control seems to be very tight. What I'm going to do is go through the process of refurbing this. Welcome to Dim Tips, the channel that repairs, revives and restores. Please do not forget to subscribe for videos just like this. The first step that I had to do was actually just remove the coverings. Um, inside each side, the temperature control unit part, as well as the actual valve for turning it on and off, is actually a Phillips screw. Uh, screw. Uh, that's a star-shaped one. So um, the first step for me was to actually go ahead and uh, remove the uh, screw which was actually holding it in place. Uh, the one for the temperature control was actually a little bit longer than the one for the valve for turning it on and off. Uh, so it took me a little while. Sorry for the uh, shaky video, but um, I couldn't actually get my stand together. Here's me just taking off the valve uh, screw on the other side. Uh, similarly, it had a, had a covering um, that just uh, pipped out the screw and here's the actual valve you can see it's uh, just a brass valve there um, the next step is to turn the temperature first of all right up and then all the way down so that it's in the uh, cold position uh, from uh, the temperature side uh, it just helps in the future i think that there is a, is a slight pole which actually controls the temperature um, so it has, it has quite a spring against it. Next is just um, taking off the actual uh, uh, mechanism which actually controls the temperature um, from going above 38 degrees. There's actually an allen key um, that actually um, was needed to um, loosen the actual unit. Um, be very careful because you're going to see a mistake that I made. I didn't take and drain out the uh, water and it went everywhere and then here's one I prepared earlier. I just put it back in so you could actually see it um, but do be careful I should have probably have released it from that that top unit there uh, and took a lot of the water out now I, I did try with my adjustable spanner but it wasn't long enough so thankfully I, I had a fix a torque um, wrench and um, I, it was a lot easier to actually loosen this. Um, um, I've been told of individuals who've actually had issues with actually loosening this. As I went about to loosen it, it started draining some of the water on the other side so you can just see it dripping. Thankfully when I was in the shower so it wasn't too much of an issue. Um, once I had taken the majority of the uh, load off, um, it's easy enough to do by hand and um, I just used the uh, socket set uh, that I actually had uh, to just effectively uh, loosen it and then it was fairly easy. Um, what I found was that as I'm trying to take it out it was um, quite tight. There's, a, there's effectively a, a rubber seal, um, which, which is probably the valve actually, um, that, that gets stuck there. And um, as I pulled it out, and you'll see it in just a second, is that the, the valve actually got stuck in there, um, which caused me a little bit of an issue and meant I had to fish it out. I used just the uh, smaller Allen key and it was easy enough to fish out. Um, and it's also easy enough to actually pop back on. Um, you, you'll see the compression joint. Um, so you'll, you'll, you'll be able to work out where, where it actually lies. Next step for me was actually just putting a bit of uh, vinegar on, on there to remove as much lime scale as possible. I think some of this was because of hard water and, and it did help um, but by putting uh, this in uh, vinegar. One thing that I did do, I think I left it for too long, it discolored it slightly. Um, it went a bit of a rosy tinge. So I, I would probably recommend don't keep it in there for too long, but you can see that it's really, really clean. Um, I, I put the um, rubber gland piece back on and then just uh, screwed it back in. You have to be a bit careful on the temperature control valve piece. Uh, ensure that that Allen key nub or nib, that actually uh, it corresponds to the bottom side. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult. Uh, I could see that it was protrud protruding a little bit. So, so the tap took care of it. And now I'm just using the Allen key to tighten up and secure the temperature control valve element. 
Uh, next, uh, I'm just hand tightening the on off valve um, and adjusting the pressure. And I used a um, adjustable wrench because I didn't want to over tighten it. I thought while I had uh, the uh, actual knobs and coverings uh, open, uh, I'd clean them. I used uh, vinegar for this and um, they seem to come up a tree. There's me just using an old toothbrush to clean the inside and the outside. I could have used Viacal or some other product. Temperature control valve. There's a, there's a few notches, so I had to make sure that they were aligned. There's a, there's a slight notch just there you can see and then there's a corresponding notch which goes into the same area and then there's a notch just behind it which corresponds to the line for the temperature control marker so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line all three of those up so that I am absolutely comfortable that it will be at the correct corresponding temperature. Before putting on the last piece, which was the actual notch which goes in there, I want to just twist the temperature control to maximum zero. So right would mean that it's getting colder and left would mean it's getting hotter. So now I know that this should be the highest temperature, which is approximately 50 degrees. And I want the corresponding line to be there. Now I want the line to show above the shower. So I'm just going to push this in. And now I can add in the control valve. So it has a little push button, which should then correspond to the max line in there and I'm just going to squeeze it as I'm pushing it on and then that should perfectly take me to the 50 line. Now let's just test it by twisting it to approximately 38 degrees and then we should hear a little click. Ah oh, perfect. A little bit off so probably need to do a bit of adjustment and I'll do that in just a sec but generally happy because now I should be able to click it on and then it meets the temperature line that I expect it to be at. Okay, it lines up perfectly, so I'm happy with that. And now I just need to add, attach the screw to this side, and pretty much the same on the other side. So, all screwed in, capped off, very happy with this, gave it a little clean, and everything seems to be working fine. I'm happy with the results. Please don't forget to subscribe and check out one of my other videos. Thanks a lot for watching.